Heather and I'm going to do a brief demonstration on how the SDL Instant Translation Browser Plugin works. So if you have an SDL Machine Translation Edge or Cloud account, what you'll do is you come to your browser web store. In my case, I'm using the Google Chrome web store. However, the plugin is also supported in Microsoft Edge and Mozilla Firefox. So after you download it, you load the extension by clicking on the SDL Browser plugin icon. And the first thing we'll do is click on Server Setup and then put in the same credentials that we use to log into either Cloud or Edge. The next thing we'll do is we will select our source and target languages. In my case, I have it set to automatic and then translate into Dutch. The last thing that we'll do is we want to tell the plugin how we want it to be interacting with the text on a given page. So you have four different options. The first is to translate text as soon as you highlight it. The next is very similar but slightly different and it's as soon as you highlight text there will be an asterisk icon that pops up to prompt you to translate it. I'll show you what that looks like. The next option is translating each page as soon as it loads, so you never have to push any other buttons. It automatically translates it as you navigate from page to page. And then the last option is translation bar. So I'll show you what that one looks like too. So translation is as easy as highlighting text. I push the asterisk button. And what's gonna happen here is it's taking the text, it's running it through my generic engine, and it's gonna put it back into this pop-up window. This is really helpful for on-the-fly words, or if I just wanna get some context for what this specific uh, selection means. The other way, as I mentioned, we have this hovering in a translation bar. And so what it, when I, as soon as I click on this icon, it's actually gonna translate the entire page for me. So this is really helpful if you don't want pages to automatically translate, but you wanna do them page by page at a time. So I push that button. And now when I scroll down, I can see that all of the text on the page has been translated. And if I want to go back to the same language from before, all I push is the undo button and then it'll go back into the original source language. And that's it. It's super easy to use, very simple, impossible to break. If you do have any questions, please just let us know. And thank you very much for watching.